Hey, welcome back to Trailer Park Garage. I got them safety dudes on. We cutting up today, so check it out. We got whole milk in the shop, as always, in this parking spot. And we're cutting up at firewall. Um, not exactly cutting on the lines that I drew uh, because I can take a grinder and clean everything up and shape it the way I want it. But I uh, started out with some air. Where was I working with? Where's it at? Yeah, whatever. And uh, that big tank couldn't keep up. So I went to electric, and we rocking now. So I just tried a couple things. I cut on some shit outside, some body panels that we had, some junk out there, just to get my hand right. Because uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't a fab guy, I ain't a cutting guy, I ain't a welding guy. It's just not what I do. We've always put motors together, built motors, um, you know, stuff like that. But when it comes to fab work, man, I just, I, I never messed with it. Therefore, I never got good at it. And I never even tried my hand at it. So I'm taking my time because I ain't trying to cut this thing all up and have it looking ugly. I mean, that is not what I want. Right now, I'm trying to make the step forward to clean whole milk up and get it looking good and get it pristine and we're going to repaint it and we're going to put carbon in it and I'm really trying to make it nice so that's what we got going on right now I'm going to make some you know of course I didn't go up along here I just hurried up and ended my cut because we're going to end up going in deeper I think I'm going to start here and work my way over and then just like that start there work my way over make my loop cut and then cut this final and then uh then we got to get rid of the the bottom of the firewall the inside of it and uh once we get that done this thing should be looking pretty all right um i don't know if i'm gonna go up through here or if i'm gonna try to cut flush i think i am gonna leave this uh pinch weld where they got it up through here but I don't know. We're going to keep cutting and, and see what's happening. Uh, but this, the firewall is definitely leaving. It's getting out of the way. We got to take our master cylinder off too. But that's what we're rocking with. We're going to get back at it. Keep cutting. See what we can do. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, shit. Check it out. No going back now, baby. Look at that. I drilled out all the pinch welds for the front so that we could separate. So I can get in here and get the cutting. And uh woo! Looking looking pretty spicy. I'm about to pull the master cylinder off now. And way we can get it up out of the way. And drill the rest of our pinch welds up through here. Well, we ain't got got as many on this side, it don't look like as the other. But uh yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll still they go up through here. One, two, three. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're rocking and rolling right along. Man, this was, this is gonna look different. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna make it so much easier to work on the freaking motor while it's in the truck in between rounds and trying to maintenance it and pulling the valve covers off or even pulling the motor in and out, taking the injector rails off. I mean, gosh, man. I, we spent so much time last year working around the firewall that it, it's unbelievable. I, I can't tell you how many times we would fight, you know, injector rails or you know, putting the motor in and out when it, this is a race car, okay? Race cars should not be that hard to work on. Um, there's a reason why all this shit is, you know, one tube to make it light, but 
you know, we, we do everything the way that we do it so that it's easily accessible, you know, if we ever got to take it apart because they got to be took apart and they got to be maintenance and they got to be worked on. So this is, uh, I'm pretty excited about this deal, honestly, because I hate working around. So we're going to get to chopping some more. Well, our first cut's done, our, our cut along the top. I done made it and then I started drilling and then breaking it off from the molding up through there. But uh, everything's going great. Oh yeah, by the way, I feel like I don't brag on them enough, but Kimball Midwest, man, let me tell you something. You get your drill bits, you put a little bit of that Kimball Midwest on the end of them before you drill that hole. Oh man, it's great. I ain't even, I ain't even using a starter bit. I got a 7 16 on the end of my drill and I hit it and it steps up, steps up, steps up, and it's 7 16. It's like, what? Yeah, Kimball Midwest is badass. And like I said, they ain't even sponsored. But if they do, how you doing? No, <laughs> we're gonna get back to work. So, couple more holes, couple more cuts. This thing will be off. Come on. Holy smokes. I didn't even realize this till a while ago. But this was like the brake rod pedestal mount that we had that was on the firewall, right? On the firewall. And look at that. Look at, look at that difference. That is freaking crazy. That is how much shit that we have been getting rid of. And that is how much more space we will have. I just made another cut, well, two. And I just started thinning up, just getting closer to the firewall. Yeah, it looks janky. But I'm just, I'm trying to, I don't want to go over my boundaries. So I'm getting closer and closer and closer. And we'll end up probably cutting up along here, up in there tight. But I, I like to see where I'm working. I always want to see where I'm working, especially doing this shit, because this is not what I do. I am not a professional. So, yeah, of course, we made these cuts. I even got the 10 snips out for a couple of weird angles. We got up in there with 10 snips. And this is all uglied up right now, but like I said, you know, we'll go back behind it, cut off some more, go with the grinder. Uh, don't want to cut too much, then I'd be screwed, and I want it to look a certain way. So we'll probably, uh, we might take this up a little higher, and that way we can slant down with the strut bar that comes out, or not the strut bar, in this case it'd be uh, inside, it'd be some of the cage. You know, maybe come up a little higher, and then come down to here to a point and then round it off up here and then start working in where some of this tin meets up. So might take a little bit more material off up through here and still got to make our cuts up here, but I was running out of wheel and I couldn't fit in there. So I don't want to take any more off of this. If anything, I just want to hit it with the grinder and smooth it up. And if there's some spots where I feel like we can make it look a little better, which man, I don't. It's a pretty good little cut up through there. Nice little bend. And then it's straight all the way across. Of course, we had our hump here where it protrudes out for the windshield wipers. Um, might flatten that, might cut it, leave it flat. And then over here, yeah, it looks good. If anything, I'm just going to hit this with a grinder. Might cut that off. Highly doubt it. Because I like my little pocket. I like to hold tools up in here and nuts and bolts and shit. That's the only reason I left it. Otherwise, I would have cut it flush. A bunch of you are probably wondering, well, why didn't you cut it anymore? Well, I like to hold stuff in here. My tools, my nuts and bolts, shit like that. So, man, we're going to keep cutting and see what we can end up with. Come on. All right. Check it out. Keep chop, chop, chopping. We're getting close up here. Still chopping away at it. It's hard to get in there. I know it's probably weird to see, but it's hard to get that cutter up in there. But uh, cut around here, kind of beat on it with a hammer a little bit. I got it awfully close up to that gap. We'll probably touch that down a little bit, probably hit it with the grinder, get it close, beat on it a little with that body hammer. And then we'll weld up through there, weld it all back together so that nothing can get in the firewall or inside the cabin. We'll clean this up, make it look a little bit better, weld it up through here, touch up some of this tin, get some of this tin up through here, 
stuck up back in there. And yeah, we'll be rocking and rolling. This thing is starting to look pretty good. I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not a fab guy, to, so, to, so to get out here and, and mess around a little bit and get to cutting on some shit, trying to make it look good and figuring out that, you know, it's just not as bad as it as it seems. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it makes you feel better. So we're going to probably try to get some of that up there out and tomorrow we'll work on trying to match the corners side to side because I'm weird about that right now. They look close, but I'd like to get them just a little bit closer, looking better. And uh, that way we can beat them down, tack them, and uh, throw some of that uh, silicon bronze or whatever on it and get that done. So it's coming out pretty all right. I'm pretty, pretty happy about it so far. So a couple more cuts. And tomorrow we'll work on just cleaning it up, making it look a little better. Come on. Oh man, check it out. These are the bed sides that we're gonna be putting on the truck. I've been cutting on them. Cut up this square, which we had left mostly on the old one. So cut the side out of it cut all the way across the top and riveted through the bottom. On this one, you can see that we just took a plasma and got stupid with it. The problem with the plasma, the reason I didn't want to use it again to make the cut up top is we burnt through in a couple of spots and it messed up the paint on the other side, which who do you do? That really didn't matter. But we didn't want to do it again because we're going to want to do body work on that bedside and we want it to look good. So out of the two, I'm going to go weigh them. The only thing we got going for this dude is we got a door on it, but uh, I want to still do the tailgate in the back. So I left everything I needed to do the tailgate in the back. Um, if we end up needing some more support later, we will. But the bracket I need to make to uh, mount the back of the bedside, I, uh, that, that might strengthen it up enough, which this is pretty tough shit back here. Um, I still need to go through and clean this up, hit it with the grinder. But I just got that inner shell out. So what I'm going to do now is weigh bedside to bedside just because I'm curious. Does it matter? No, not at all. But... I do want to know if one is heavier or lighter just because I'm a goofball. So I'm gonna go throw it on the scales. Never believe it. 41 pounds. That is a uh, 0.8 lighter than the other bedside. And that one's got a freaking gas door in it. That's what I'm talking about. So if anything, we just got some stuff to take off. I need to clean it up. I'm going to take the grinder to it and just hit up some of these edges and some odd, silly shit just to wear when we're touching it. You know, cut yourself. I'm also going to get this pretty close and just chop it off. Um, I'll probably do an L in it because, I don't know, I like that little support right there. It's a little strength. And we might end up... I think this is farther up on the... No, that'll be pretty close. I don't know. We will, uh, we will see on that, but I also want to chop this off, boink, take this bar out. Oh, yeah, you like the seat I built? Oh, yeah, come on. I'm just kidding again. Um, chop it off here, chop it off here, chop these off, bink, bink, chop this off, of course, and then we'll have that whole little monkey bar set uh, take off there. Here's the reason why. I have to cut out around the tailgate around all this shit and around this shit and around this shit and around this shit. And I don't like that. I want to be able to put a damn tailgate on it and not have to cut that damn thing up so bad. I don't know. No, the old tailgate is. It is in the garbage, I would say. But uh, I want to be able to have a 
fully functional tailgate like we had before, but I don't want it to be all cut up. I want to be able to plop it. I want it to be able to have the hanger. So if I want to sit down on the damn tailgate, I can. You know why? Because it's a freaking pickup truck. That's how they were made. And that's how they should be. Um, yeah. That's right. And besides that, we'll just, uh, we'll cap these ends. This bar, cap it. Cap that in. And then we'll just build another bar right here. So it'll shorten it up just a little bit but uh i don't know inch and five eighths whatever the size of that bar is well not inch and five eighths that way but you get what i'm saying and uh we'll just make new mounts for our weight block which in the back looks like we got space to not come in huh all right so but we got space we can just cut these tabs off. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going crazy right now because I got a million ideas. Yeah, these are them ugly tabs. But we can probably, yeah, we need to cut these off. And we're going to do something different so that it'll support the weight. But that's a problem we don't have to worry about right now. Hopefully, we can just find a freaking aluminum block and build the wing like we want it. And I ain't have to put no ballast in it. But that probably won't happen because I'm broke. Come on. So... I'm going to cut up the rest of this bedside. Actually, just drill out all the rivet or the stamps, pinch welds, and this thing will just plop right out. It's all cut and ready to go. So we'll do that, clean up the bedsides, and then we'll start fitting them onto the truck. Man, check it out. We've been out here messing around. I got both of them just setting up there, both the bedsides. Uh, been doing some measuring, been doing some spacing, been trying to figure out exactly how we want this thing to fit on here. Um, barely tweaked with that a little bit because then the sun popped out and it started getting nice outside. We got a customer car that we got to take care of. Uh, a little small block deal. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just a nice little streeter. I'm running the valves on it right now. I'm going to tweak on the carburetor. Check timing. Just some basic, basic shit like that. He might end up putting a kit on it. Oh, oh shit. That's what I'm talking about. But, uh, we're, we've been messing with that. Just for probably 20, 30 minutes. Um, once the uh, sun goes down or it starts getting a little cold outside, we'll probably come back in here and start messing with this thing a little bit more. Uh, unless we get that wrapped up quicker than I think. Uh, I got some cardboard here so that we can make some templates for back here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do all that and get all that done and probably drill my holes for the bedsides and everything before I cut this bar off. Because um, I don't want it to alter anything or move. or I, I mean, there ain't no telling how much pressure is on that bracket right there from that bar so we take that off i don't want it to start straying off or doing anything crazy because we're going to have to end up putting it putting another one in somewhere else probably in the same spot on the bracket but just angle it out a little farther over there because we're going to end up cutting all that off and I'd probably move it to just like right back here or something but that's what we got going on today it's a nice day outside we working on them freaking hot rods. And oh yeah, I got the firewall smoothed up a little bit. That's right. Took that grinder to it. Uh we gotta cut up in here. I don't know why. My air is being janky, but it is. So we still gotta cut all this out. Man, I might uh we got a plasma cutter over here. I might go get a tip for it and just hit it with that plasma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we got going on. We went through pops, marked a bunch of shit last night that is uh, major got to be fixed on the bedsides. A uh, little wavy here, a little wavy up here. Uh, when we did the cab, it was uh, kind of a rush job, but got some, got some Bondo work to do right there. We want to bring this. This is out pretty far. It slants in like that. So we're going to want to fill that in a little bit. And we'll have to work the bedside around it. And 
install it like this gap or this uh, body line is going to be filled out a little more. So, just a couple of dings and dents in this thing. It ain't freaking bad at all. Pretty straight for some bedsides. That's the worst spot. Um, most of these are just holes that we want to weld up and cover. So, yeah, ain't bad. Got a ding right here. Good one. Along with this one. Got a little spot right here. What else? Holes we need to cover up. Oh, there's a couple of dings. Bing, bing. Right there. Like I said, ain't nothing crazy on it. It's, it's going to be pretty easy to straighten them up. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to get back to work on this thing. And we'll get back to work on homework tonight. Come on. Oh, yeah. Check it out. It's uh, a little warmer today. Oh, yeah, check it out. I'm the freaking UPS man today. No. Um, snowing in Kentucky. Had a salt last night. It was up pretty late. Um, hopefully, that's the last bit of snow we got for a little while. But we're getting back on home milk. It's freaking freezing cold right now. Let's see. It is uh, 18 degrees in shop. So we're gonna get to work. Uh, we got some plates that I had made. The homies at Modern, hooking it up, stamping out some shit. Um, it's gonna go up in there behind that, uh, the rear tail light so that we can mount to our chassis side bracket, as you see. Um, we're probably gonna have to take the body hammer, hammer, wow, hammer, uh, body hammer, and, you know, work it a little bit. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, we'll have to grind out back here, cause my boy JB is gonna weld them in. So we're gonna grind it out, the surface that we're gonna weld. And I'm pretty 90,000% positive that I'm gonna get rid of a little more of this. And this. I'm gonna smooth it out, make it look good, grind off shit that we need to uh, weld these plates in, and the bedsides will be ready to mount. Um, my homie Dominic made me some freaking badass spacers, because look at this. This is what we've been using. Check it out. This is what came with the truck years ago, and that's how they had the bed mounted, and I have used them ever since. Um, I want to get rid of them because I want to eliminate the 5,000 freaking... Yeah, here. Perfect example. One, looks like shit. And two, lining them up, shoving the bolt through all the... It's just a pain in the ass and it's not necessary. So, he made me some half-inch spacers. Uh, same OD. Drilled it through the middle. We'll pick them up here in a few. I got to get those today. And uh, we'll show you those. But he hooked it up. There's some badass pieces. And we'll go get them and show you later. But for right now, we got to smooth up these bedsides, like I said, do all that and get them ready so that we can final mount them. That way, we can start getting some tin work done. Come on. So let's get to work and we'll see what we can do with these things. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. Check that out. We got our uh, spacers. Dominic hooked it up. These things look sick. We got four of them. So that'll help us on our bedside spacing. Let's get back to work on cutting these things up. Come on. Holy shit. All right. So yesterday we got out in the shop. It was freaking freezing cold. We worked on the bedsides a little bit. I took the grinder and I was trying to smooth everything up. And I was like, man, this is just not the correct freaking way to do this job. Like, you know, when you're out in the shop and you're like, man, I can get it done this way. But this is dumb. We are wasting time and this is not productive. You know what I'm saying? So, check it out. My homie Justin hooked me up with that uh, plasma cutter like freaking years ago, and I never used it because I'm not a fab guy. I don't use plasma cutters. I don't, I don't grind shit. I don't cut shit up. That's just not what I do. Uh, I've always built motors, and I mean like we'll, we will do assembly, 
and like chassis tuning and stuff like I'm not a fabricator, okay? I done said that 50 billion times. But yesterday I was like, Big Chungus, do you got an Amazon, a Prime count? And he was like, yeah, man. And I'm like, look, I got to get this shit here quick. So I ordered these ends because that's all I needed for this plasma was just the ends. So I bought an end kit and I've been out here like five minutes and we got some work to do, but this thing's freaking badass. Plasma cutters are sick. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is, is when you get up close to shit. Like, look at this. I burnt through right there and that irks me because we need to do the body work on this shit. And the last thing we need is more and more freaking problems to have to fix. So we will have to be careful with what I'm doing there. Uh, I tried turning it down when I went through that spot. It was just no way that you could cut that clean um, without burning through. So I'm gonna get back to work. We're gonna cut all the way up through here. Uh, I've been talking a lot, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get to working, so. Let's get it. Plasma cutter. Wow. All right. Check it out. First one's done. Get everything grinded up so we can weld our little plates in there. And I would say we probably knocked another half pound off this dude. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'd say it's a bit of a half pound. Not Definitely not a full pound. But, uh, yeah. So this bedside's ready to go. We'll probably wash it up, clean it up, and... It'll be ready so we can take it to John's. I just texted him. I don't know if he's ready tonight or what he's going to want to do there. But since it's not zero freaking degrees outside, I'm going to break that freaking water hose out, baby. And scrub these down real quick. Well, this one. And then get the other one up here on the chopping block so we can get started on it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Both of them cut up, grinded, ready for our plates to weld in and <clears throat> they are ready to rock. So, still gotta wash them, but I can't, cause damn, water hose is, I don't know, froze or stuck in the dumbass swimming pool, uh, whatever. So, I'm probably gonna have to run my ass to town, clean them up. I texted John, I was like, my boy, we got both the bedsides finally done. So, whenever he's ready to weld them up, we'll run over and weld them up. But for right now, I just unloaded all the damn salt out of my truck. So I need to wash my truck and I need to wash my bedside. So I'm gonna run to town, do that, and we'll see what John's got going on. Oh. Yeah, baby, that's right. We back out here in the shop. As you can see, I've been finishing up the cuts on the firewall. I'm about to take that, that grinder to that thing and finish this sucker so the firewall cutting will be completely done the bedside cutting will be completely done and uh see what else yeah after that all we got to do like i said tonight i didn't tell you all that tonight we're running to john's john's gonna weld the plates in we'll bring them back home and we will do our final mock-up and check everything make sure we like everything the way we want it we will mount them. Once we have mounted them, we will... Man, I'm back and forth about cutting these freaking bars off. Now, why, you ask? Well, one, something has to be welded back in place, uh, which is not that big of a deal. I'm thinking maybe a support from here to here instead of this straight bar. Because remember, we want to put a freaking factory tailgate back on it. And before, we had a factory tailgate, but... Um, I had to cut it all to pieces. That's not what I want. I want to be able to take my freaking parachute out. I want to be able to drop my gate. I want to be able to sit on the some bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like trucks are meant to be. So, we're going to ponder on that. I'm going to get John's advice, actually, because uh, John's got that big brain. I'm not a fab guy. So, like I said, we're going to finish this up, hit it with the grinder, and after that, we'll run over to John's tonight. So I'll see y'all there. Be ready to go see some John. Come on. Man, check it out. I ain't been filming much, per usual. But uh, check it out. We've got one bolt in. 
uh, here in the back, we've got our gusset here and our two fronts bolted in. Yep, there you go. And our body line's pretty matched up. Over there, I got a little bit of tweaking I gotta do, but it ain't bad. I gotta go up an eighth inch. It's just a little off. But check it out, man. We got freaking bedsides on this thing. It is so close to being able to go to 10. Chris actually texted me last night. He's like, hey, man, how far do you think you are? And I'm like, pretty freaking close. So we got three holes we gotta drill over here. Three holes we gotta drill over here. And we gotta tweak that bedside up there. After that, guess what? This baby is ready to go. So we go get the carbon done. And man, it's gonna look so freaking sweet back here. All the carbon done. And on the inside. Oh yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be freaking badass. So we've got our, we just freaking rocking right along. I don't know what else to say. I'm super excited. You can tell, check it out. Yeah, it's got to go up just a little bit. But, man, I am pretty excited about this. Uh, it looks good. Fitment's badass. Of course, it's going to sit way lower once there's some freaking weight back here. But, got some, got some good fitment here. And, uh, yeah, everything's just looking good. I like it. I like it a whole lot. So, I got to drill out these holes. I'm not... I'm not going to film that because it's pretty much freaking done. But we've got our bedsides finished. So I'm probably going to chop the video right here. That way I can get it out. Um, yesterday, I, I did all this shit yesterday. I'm just coming into the shop today. Look at this freaking rainy, nasty mess out here. Ugh, terrible. Tomorrow is supposed to be dry, so I'm probably going to work on the Nova out there. Get it wrapped up, ready to leave. And then once this thing leaves... Uh, we got another project for a customer. We got to bring in, pull the motor, brakes on it. We got all kinds of stuff to do. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys freaking enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on this little deal when it's ready to leave and all that. And uh, yeah, I'll just try to keep you in the loop. And uh, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. We're out for the week. Come on.